Hey everyone, Talon Sai here, and today we're gonna to be talking about a new tool in Onyx Off-Road known as the Route Builder. This is going to be available on your preferred smartphone, tablet, and of course, on your computer. This new tool is going to allow you to create, save, and edit a previously saved route that you create directly on the app wherever you are using it. So for today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to create a route here on my computer. The best way to use this tool is actually to do a little bit of pre-planning depending on what vehicle you're in. I'm currently traveling in Northern Idaho in my Storyteller Sprinter van. So because of that, I am first gonna come up to the filter and I'm going to filter the trails in my area by full width roads and high clearance four x four trails because I know this vehicle can conquer most of those. Once the map is filtered, I now see a bunch of trails that I will have access to. You can use the discover feature to find something close to you. However, for my plan, I know I'm gonna be coming down Route 90 right here and then across to head east. So instead of just doing this sort of weird loop here on the highway, I figured, I might as well get off road a little bit. So if I zoom in a little bit here, you will notice that this is national forest land. And there are plenty of trails here which will take me from Interstate 90 all the way across to Interstate 15. Now for my pre-plan, I like to actually zoom in on this map a little bit and check out some different things in the area. Right here we have a place known as Champion Pass and then just up a little bit further, I know I'm going to have to change my route a little bit and start heading south. So I'm dropping waypoints as I go. If I zoom in a little bit further, down here is a place known as the Lowland. So I will click on that and now I'm going to add a waypoint. I'll label that lowland I'm going to color it yellow and save that now finally connecting from the trails back to the road here onto interstate 15 I'm going to add one more waypoint. I'm just going to label this one end because that will be when I'm back on pavement going to save that and now we can jump into building this route. So you'll notice this big curve right here that I'm gonna cut off by going off road and it's going to be a lot more fun than just regular highway driving. Now up here in the right hand corner, the very first tool that you will see says build route. So I'm gonna click on that tool over here. I'm going to name the route, call it Idaho. I'm gonna keep this one yellow as well to match the waypoints. And now I can either use a snap to function or the point draw function. The point draw function is going to allow me to drop an initial point and then you'll notice that it's going to draw a straight line, kind of like the line tool did in the past. Now the snap to feature is where the magic really happens. So now you will notice that when I start at my first waypoint and bring it across to my next point of interest, it's actually snapping the route to known trails and roads in the area. You can actually see the route being built in real time as I'm dropping more points along the way. Come down to the fourth point and then finally linking back up onto the highway. And that is my impromptu route. You'll notice over on the detail card here, it is showing me the elevation gain and loss for this route that I just created. We're climbing up a mountain, coming down this ridge a little bit, and then once again, climbing back up to another high point before hopping back down to the highway. So now I can save this route, and now I can start driving and actually navigate to that first waypoint that I have set up for myself. If you're doing this with a group of people, you can also go over here to your My Content tab, and then you will notice that there is a new folder for your route. So if you are driving, maybe you're south of where you actually started, click on Routes, click on Idaho, the route that I just created, and it will show you all of the details. You can share this with your friends rather than just telling them, hey, we're gonna meet at this point, and then this point, and then we're gonna turn here and go down this trail. This makes planning and linking together trails a whole lot easier, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So check it out, it should be available in your app right now. And if you have any questions on Route Builder, drop a comment down below.